overview of the topics that you guys did in your reports, which is the voyages to that planet, some of the crucial voyages, the mythology, a little uh, bit about the mythology of the planet, who discovered the planet, uh, and those kind of things. Voyages, uh, mythology, voyages, discovery. Mercury, we saw that uh, Roman, Mercury is the Roman equivalent of the Greek god Hermes. Okay, Some of the properties of that god, he's the god of trade and abundance, and he's oh, the messenger god. So he gave messages and sent messages. The reason Mercury is named after this god is because the Mercury is the fastest going planet, the fastest orbital speed. So in order for this god to be the messenger god, he needed to be very fast. He is the son of Jupiter and Maya. Okay, that's Mercury. Uh, Mariner 10 was the first mission to get to uh, Mercury in 1974. Messenger was one of the other, the second ones, very important, 2004. And B Baby Colombo will reach um, Mercury in 2015. Those are the three main missions to Mercury. For Mercury, there is really no discovery date. It, we've always seen it. And pretty much that's it for Mercury. We go to Venus. Is Roman equivalent of the Greek god Aphrodite. Okay, Aphrodite. The properties of this god, god of love, okay, fertility and sexuality. Uh, Venus has often been called the morning and evening star because it appears sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the evening, and very, very bright in the sky. Okay, some of the crucial missions there, there's been a lot of Venera missions, Mariner missions, uh, Pioneer Venus is another important mission there, Magellan in 1989, and then Venus Express in 2005. Okay, so Venera, Mariner, missions, Pioneer, Magellan, and Venus Express. <coughs> so now we go to... Um, Mars. Yeah. I'm going to have to go kind of quick. Roman equivalent of the Greek god Ares. Okay. God of war and agriculture. Okay. Originally, he wasn't really associated with the god of war, but it, over time... Uh, his association with blood and everything, and then the, this god became associated with war. He's the son of Jupiter. Okay, the interesting thing is uh, it's got two moons, Phobos and Deimos. Uh, Phobos means fear from the word phobia, we get from that, and Deimos, panic. In uh, mythology, this god also had two sons named uh, Phobos and um, Deimos. So the coincidence is that the mythology and the fact that Mercury actually has two moons, they coincided. So it's kind of a pretty interesting coincidence. Some of the main missions, Mariner, Mars, lots of Mariner missions, lots of Mars missions, Viking missions. Um, uh, MGS, Mars Pathfinder, Mars Express, this one, MGS, means Mars Global Surveyor. Mars Global Surveyor. That was in the 1990s. Okay? Mars Pathfinder was actually a lander. Some of these are landers. Some of these are just orbited the planet. So Mars Global Surveyor, Mars, Mars Pathfinder actually landed on it. Mars Express and Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. M-R-O, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. The, the very word itself means it orbits the planet. Uh, some of the other important ones in 2000, Spirit and Opportunity, you might have been listening to the news when this happened. I believe it was around 2004 or 2005. Spirit and Opportunity landed, and uh, they've still been going strong. Okay, uh, One of them is down. The other one is still doing some missions. It's been, uh, the, it lasted a lot longer than it was uh, supposed to last. And then uh, in 2012, Curiosity landed in Mars. 
Uh, that's the, last, the latest mission, Curiosity. So Jupiter, Roman equivalent of the Greek god Zeus, okay? God of the sky and thunder. You've all seen pictures of Zeus with the thunder in his hand. He is the brother of Neptune and Pluto and son of Saturn. So if you look at the mythology, Saturn is above Jupiter and he has, um, he has some children and the children are Neptune, Pluto and the other child is Jupiter. Some of the main missions to Jupiter, Voyager 1 and 2, Pioneer 10 and 11 flyby, and Cassini and New Horizons flyby. Cassini and New Horizons, their main missions was to go, the Cassini was going to go to Saturn. Okay, So it, well, it's not intended for Jupiter, but it flew by Jupiter. New Horizons is on its way to Pluto, but it went by Jupiter and took some pictures. However, the main one that focused on Jupiter is known as the Galileo mission. After taking lots and lots and lots of pictures, they finally put an end to the Galileo mission by having the, the, the satellite go into Ga uh, Jupiter. Um, that was several years ago. That's how it died. Because we don't want to just, sometimes we don't want to throw out the trash into outer space. So what our way of dumping the satellite into the planet is just to dive into the planet. The pressure of the, the planet is so large that it crushed the satellite and it died on its way in. Okay, So Galileo was focused on Jupiter. The uh, easy way to remember this is because Galileo discovered the moons of Jupiter, right? The four major moons, and that's why we named the mission Galileo. <clears throat> okay, then we go to Saturn. The Roman equivalent of the Greek god Cronus, okay? Remember, this is the god above Jupiter, whose son is Jupiter. God of harvest and plenty son of Uranus and Gaia. So his father is Uranus and Gaia, okay? Um, he is the father of Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. Poseidon being Neptune, Hades being Pluto, okay? So he's the father of Zeus. Main missions there, Voyager 1 and 2, Pioneer 11, now, the spacecraft that is intended, was intended mainly for Saturn was the Cassini Huygens. This one took lots and lots of images and pictures of Saturn. And uh, Huygens was a space probe intended to analyze Saturn's largest moon, Titan, which is known to have its own atmosphere. The Huygens spacecraft went into the atmosphere of Titan and analyzed the surface of Titan. Now we go to Uranus, son and husband of Gaia. And the way it's kind of weird, the mythology, the way that mythology works, sometimes you can be the son and also the husband of Gaia. And only planet with a Greek god name. So Uranus is actually a Greek name. And in Greek you would say Uranus, Uranus. Uh, so basically think of Saturn as the god of sky and parent to the titans, and one of the titans is Cronus, okay? And uh, Cronus is Saturn. So the main god, if you think of it, from which all of them are originating is Uranus, okay? He's like the top. Uh, his son is Saturn. Saturn's children are Poseidon, Hades, and Zeus, and then from there you get the other children and stuff, okay? Uh, the main mission to Uranus is Voyager 2. Not many other missions to Uranus yet. That's it, Voyager 2. Okay, from Uranus, we start talking about who discovered them. Uh, from uh, up to Saturn, no discoverer. Uranus was discovered by William Herschel, discovered in 1781. Okay? Was a, he was an amateur astronomer. He was looking at the sky. He discovered Uranus. Rings are named after the Greek alphabet symbols, okay? So a lot of the rings are, uh, Uranus are like named Epsilon ring, 
um, alpha, beta, you know, delta, those kinds of Greek symbols. The moons of Saturn are named after Shakespearean and Pope's plays, okay? Most of them. So it's a very good uh, um, collection of names. The only planet whose moons are not named after mytho mythological figures. They're named after Shakespearean and Pope's plays. Then we go to Neptune. Roman equivalent of the Greek god Poseidon, god of the sea, okay? Uh, brother of Zeus and Hades. So we've also, we already mentioned that, right? He's the son of Cronus, and then his brothers are Zeus and Hades. And Hades is going to become, turn into the uh, Roman god Pluto. Who discovered them? Adams and Leverrier. I've, t I've, t I've talked about that before when we were talking about the law of gravity and stuff. This is the first planet to be discovered by prediction. They predicted that it's going to exist, and it was there. It actually existed. Uh, discovered in 1846. The main voyage to Neptune, Voyager 2. Then we go to Pluto, Roman equivalent of the Greek god Hades, which is the god of the underworld. God of the underworld, brother of Zeus and Poseidon, and we mentioned that before, and discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tombaugh. So he was looking there again, and he saw, he noticed that uh, there was a planet in the sky moving at a different rate than the stars, and that's how he discovered it. New Horizons launched 2006 and will arrive in 2015. That's the main mission intended for Pluto, okay, New Horizons. So we're going to learn a lot more about Pluto when New Horizons gets there. Uh, interestingly, Pluto's moon, Charon, is named after the god, uh, the ferryman. The moon is also related to the god of the underworld. You need the boatman, to f the ferryman to take you across the river when you are dead. So 